are these games? What is Automate planning? Automate announced three games not fitting into the Otome genre, but rather in the Jose Mucke genre, being generally targeted towards girls, but not focusing on romancing guys. And the first one scheduled for 2022 is Sokai Tenki, a story of boys venturing out on the ocean in order to bring back the light to their country, engulfed in dark war. I think the main protagonist is Minato, a wanderer who lost his memories. Then we have Kazuya, a brotherly boy who just entered the navy and voiced by the same voice actor as Dante, in Pure Fiore, Lucian in Even If Tempest and Shaduka in Tengoku Struggle, so man he's booked this year. <laughs> then we have Deji, a young Shinto priest who will also voice Pashalia in Radiant Tale, and Benkei in Birushana Senki. Nagisa is a kind-hearted navigation officer. Gento is a wavering hypocrite gangster pretending to be more chivalrous than he actually is. And lastly Kageno, who is Minato's trapped brother. And that's all we know about the characters so far. And that they venture out on a story guided by the three Shinto gods, Amaterasu, Tsukuyomi and Susano. In the video about last year announcements, I thought that would be like an historical setting Otoma game. It is no Otoma game. I think it's more based in mythology actually, with bringing back the light, guided by the gods. And I guess it will take a place a lot in the boat and at the ocean. So if you like adventure stories or pirate stories and accompanying friends, on their adventure, where they grow close together, helping each other out in dire situations. The second game we already know of is Dikadok, Documentary of Useful Sounds. This is a visual novel inspired by the drama CD of a virtual boy band by the label Mindlab. Dignity Productions is a talent agency that manages many popular talents. You are to make a documentary about two aspiring boy bands, Impish Krau, a rookie band, and Dubia Leopard an already popular band that continues to grow in popularity. So you follow them closely for a month until their open-air concert. And it depends on you how you will depict their life that solely focuses on music. The vocalist Sugumi is honest and bright and has the ability to make people feel at ease, saying under the clear blue sky, that's what I love. He also voiced Yosuga in Olympia Soiree, Suzu in Jack Jan, and will voice Bilio in Radiant Tale. Toki is responsible for the guitar and lyrics. We'll show you a performance that is worth our name. He's attentive yet doesn't like taking things too seriously. And also voices Gretel in Taisho Alice. Mitsuru plays the bass. Open air concerts are great. We are very talented guys, you know. He's very cool and a uh, my pace kind of character, usually calm and silent. And he also voices the wizard in Taisho Alice. Hibari is the drummer. The feeling of freedom seems so enjoyable. I'm excited. He's a charming lady killer, but in reality he has a sharp tongue. He also voices Henry in Pure Fiore and Akito in Club. Lastly, Soda. In Impish Crow is the most invincible band under the whole sky. We will fly higher than any other band. He's the kind and soft manager who can also get scary when he's angry. And I don't think Hayato, the producer of the band, will play a role in this game. The members of Rubia Leopard are the vocalist Akane. Open air concerts are great, right? Let's play hard and loud. He's straightforward powerful and almost perfect. He also voiced Kazuma in Lover Pretend and will voice Cryers in Even If Tempest. The guitar plays Kurono. Surely with us a new legend is born. He is very loyal to his childhood friend Akane, kind-hearted but serious and strict and that's why he has not the best relationship with Mashido, who sometimes goofs around and makes him feel afraid that this will hurt the band's reputation. And again Ishikawa Kaito is not allowed to sleep. The bass is played by Mashido. Outside you say as long as it doesn't rain. He is an easygoing, sake indulging womanizer. And he also voices Nozomu in Toki Memo 4 and Kire in Jako no Laila. The drama Haiji is a tactful mediator by reading the air and having a firm character. He's quiet and unemotional, except when the others are criticized. Then he suddenly gets short-tempered. The last open-air concert is so long ago, I'll give everything I've got. And he also voices Noin in Killer and Strawberry. The manager Shiki is amiable and reliable and shows his love by being strict. That's a good chance. Also bring fans of other bands. And also voiced Fennel in Nikopada and Nagusa in Olympia Sorry. I think it's fairly obvious that this will be an idol game. <laughs> and so far the franchise isn't that well known. The scenario is written by the same person who also did Period Cube and who also worked at Kengakimi, Moshikami-sama, Dance with Devils and Diabolic Lovers. But I don't think that these games will represent the tone of the upcoming Dick Dog as it's probably way more lighthearted. Lastly, Shinjuku da Shomon, 
And like Degrog, it doesn't have a release date yet. At the end of the turmoil in the Edo period, the era of samurai has come to an end. At least, that's what the people believed. But in the center of Shinjuku, the Edo period is not yet over. The gate to the modern days has opened and devils begin to lurk in the city. In order to protect mankind, assassins of the present time who carry demon-slaying swords fight for their safety. A mysterious story about the resurrection of the Edo period in modern times, reincarnated in the late Tokugawa period. This life, take it or give it. Okay, the Japanese in this trailer really killed me, so I don't know whether this is correctly translated. Please help. <laughs> we know the MC Akira, but about the other characters, who will probably fight alongside him against the demons, not much is known yet. And the game is interestingly marketed with suits and swords, so it might be a clash between cultures, their modern day life, and then them having to defend against devils. The scenario is written by the same stuff that worked on Omega Vampire, a quite hardcore BL game I would say you can check out in my BL game list, and the character design is made by the same person who made Heiligenstadt no Uta. Well, this game is neither popular nor very pretty, but <laughs> of course it's also very old, so the artist probably has developed a lot since then. I think this game from the three seems to be mostly targeted actually towards a male audience, considering the art style and also the setting and the type of the story. What brings me to the general discussion about these games? They are made by a sub-studio of Automate called Alter Gear that focuses on a new line of games solely about male friendship and not at all love. And as Automate used to focus on Otome games, the question is why? What are they planning? Sure is they want to target a new and probably wider audience, both male and female. Maybe typical VN players who just want to enjoy a story that also focuses on human relationships but not necessarily love, like BL and Otome games, Bishoujo and Yuri games. I think this is a very unique approach to the genre and could potentially like create its own genre itself, like friendship visual novel. <laughs> Whether there will be an audience for that, only time will tell. But it might also be in reaction to the declining sale numbers of Otome games in the last years. So Automate and Alter Gear definitely expect this approach to be successful, as they seem to be three more games planned. Whether this will be like Triangle Project with Frontier Works that ended after three games, or whether it will be a new trend in the visual novel genre. I'm definitely excited to see where this development is going, though I personally probably won't be part of this development, as I'm here for the love. Come on! <laughs> so what about you? Are you interested in these games? Or are you more interested in the other super exciting announcement by Automate? Then you should watch this video to get more very interesting details about what we know so far.